Hey everybody, today I want to talk about lubrication. I have been asked many times uh, which, lubri which lubricant uh, is best for uh, pneumatic engines, for Lego pneumatics, um, and how I lubricate my engines. So, as I mentioned many times before, I use the silicone spray lubricant. Uh, I use this because uh, Many people want to use WD-40, which is an oil-based lubricant. Uh, and uh, oils, uh, especially mineral oils, contain uh, acids, which are not good to either the plastic uh, or the rubber seals inside of the cylinders. Uh, also, on top of that, uh, because it's oil-based, it's messy. Uh, the silicone-based uh, lubricant are clean. Uh, so this is what we, we will use. I just made this uh, inline 3 engine for a customer and I will show you how I lubricate the engine before I send it out to the customer. First we need to lubricate all the mechanical bits. So we take this out. Okay, now I spray everything with the loop. All the bits. There we go. There's no such such thing as uh, enough lubricant. Always better to do more than too little. Okay. Now put this back on. Okay. And now, as mentioned in the video with the switches. Uh, I was asked uh, why don't do I not loop the switches? Uh, I don't loop the switches because uh, during assembly uh, I want to keep them clean and dry so the glue sticks but uh, eventually they need to be lubricated and this is how. So we attach this little tube to the engine so now I can run the engine on the silicon spray loop bottle and I run the engine for a few rotations this is enough so now come on okay see now loop got everywhere inside the engine, inside the cylinders, inside the switches, everything is thoroughly lubricated. And now we are going to see what happens when we run it. Okay, so the engine is here in our testing basement. Let's see how well it does. Uh -huh. First, it goes a bit rough. See the 
cylinders and the switches stick a little bit uh, in the beginning. That's one of the reasons that I like the engine. I like to run the engines in so that everything uh, really gets properly run in before I send it to the customer. Look at how nice this red is. You can really feel the power. One leak in the engine. It's probably a switch, and that's why the engine doesn't run past 1800 RPMs. So I'll fix this and send it to the customer. Anyway, this is on my take on lubrication, uh, and I see you next time.